All right. Thanks for joining today. This is the March update that I told everybody I would be doing. So here's an example of how to keep track of your your OMAD progress. And remember, I said in one of my earlier videos, this is one of the things you should be doing that I regret not doing on my journey downward. March OMAD chart. And this is not fancy. It's actually not just March. I added down here an April one, which I'm not going to reveal yet because we're not done with April. We're just starting. But this is the end of everything I ate uh, during the month of March. So I have up here just the, the name of the month. I have the date, the day, restaurant, whether or not I ate at restaurant or home. I have the cost. Uh, and then I have the food selection, calories, and weight. And I have, you notice, a weekly weight here. I believe in weighing weekly. And if you do weigh daily, you need to make sure you are only recording your progress on one, once every seven days. And I'll explain more about that in a minute. So let's look at this. I had Bill Miller on the February the 28th. Here's how much it cost me. Four piece dark chicken, four bean and cheese tacos. Came to about 2,400 calories. Notice my starting weight here. I went on a strength training, heavy eating regimen, and I, I was up to 213.4 pounds, which I honestly felt good. I felt strong. But I decided I don't want the, the more bloated look of being a big, strong guy. Uh, I can really enjoy the working outside of things and pushing my body, and I do enjoy it, but it's really not profitable to my life. And one of the things that you face is you have to decide, like I've said many times, what really works for you in terms of what you, how you see yourself and the type of lifestyle that you enjoy. In my case, it's not too serious of a thing, so I decided I started to do my dumbbells and free weights and really got to a point where I said, there's really no point in taking this too far. So the 1st of March, Burger King. The notice some of this is coup coupon food. $5.40 was all it cost me for two sandwiches, chicken sandwiches, two small fries, and a drink. Came to about 1,400 calories. Little Caesars, $7.01. You can get the hot and ready. Uh, I had a half of a one large pepperoni, and it's something to, to the effect of 2,200 calories. I didn't eat all of it. It came to about 1,800, if I counted accurately. Home, three eggs, a can of pinto beans, chips, some chile de arbol salsa, and some cheese with a rock star punched drink. Notice <laughs> I'm not stressing whether or not this stuff is healthy, much to the frustration of some of you who are expecting me to give these nutritionally, politically correct meals. You don't have to do that. Perico's Mexican restaurant. I took the girls out and got a Santos plate, two enchiladas, rice and beans, and 2,500 calories. Uh, look at this. Look how I'm going. I'm so carefree. I'm not even really caring whether or not uh, a lot of this falls within a particular calorie range. Although, as you're going to see on the next week, I'm going to start amp amping that down. Goulash, mom's goulash with one apple came to 855 calories. Look at the look at the weight drop from here to here. I'm down to 201.8 pounds about a week later. Uh, Subway, Burger King, Taco Bell. The, again, some of these. Look how cheap that is. Three ninety nine for a one a six inch meatball sub. Sometimes if you can't decide, just grab a uh, coupon and say that's whatever it says I'm eating today. That's the way to take the doubt out of what you're doing. One hell herring fillet can, one sardine can, five eggs, one can of lima beans, eight crackers comes about eight hundred ninety calories. Again, that's filling up one plate. Fish burger, small fries, and sweet tea. More more coupon meals. And then here was Michaela's birthday. Red Lobster. She loves Red Lobster. $19 for an Admiral's Feast plus sweet tea came to, I don't know, I guess about 1,700 calories. I think 1,720 when I calculated it. And we go on. Next weigh-in, 198.6 pounds. Now notice what I did here. I told you we'd come back to this. 199, 199.6. I'm a little heavier on the day after. This is why I don't recommend weighing every single day because your numbers are going to jump around. And that's always the case. You want to wait and see more progress over the next few days. See, I thought this was going to be a plateau. Look what happened. 198.6, 194.4. And how did that happen in just seven days? You're going to give yourself more of a confidence boost when you weigh on a set day of the week rather than if you do it every day. And that's why I'm so particular on there. I don't have any splurge days uh, lined up except for one, which we're going to look at. But each of these highlighted in blue is the weigh day. But if you look at my calories, I keep them pretty varied, but also somewhat consistent. And you can look at my other things here, a vegetarian chili soup, 
a little bowl of teriyaki, you know, cheap junk. Soft taco plate from Eddie's Taco House. They're really good here in San Antonio, which is where I am today. I'm still on vacation. Wanted to do an update video. Two Lean Cuisine dinners. Hey, some of you need to get a grip in terms of those of you who worry about sodium. I have actually symptoms of Addison's disease. I don't hold sodium as well. My body gets rid of it. Sometimes you might find that a saltier dinner when you're fasting actually helps your heart and helps your your level of water retention in a good way. Sometimes you, you'll jettison too much water too fast, you'll become dehydrated, and sometimes a higher salt meal matters. So just take a look at this. Take time and read all of this, and you'll give an, this gives you an idea of what I'm doing. Notice the only splurge day this month was on the 27th. We went to Houston. We ate out. We ate a two, I had two delicious heaping meals from City Market Barbecue in Luling, Texas, which, by the way, if you ever go, it is hands down the best barbecue out of Texas, Missouri, and Alabama. It really is the best. Chachi's Mexican Restaurant in, in downtown Houston, you know, or actually Kingwood, not, not Houston, just north of Houston. 4,200 calories? I don't even know. Do I care? I do not. One double meat water burger with extra pickles and tomatoes. That's the burger only. Came to 830 calories. Uh, fish feast for five. I cut it in half, so I got about 2,000. And I concluded the month uh, with more city market barbecue because we were, we were coming, coming back from staying out there. 196.2 pounds. Now, I keep losing through April, but I'm, again, we're not there yet. So what is the message here? The message is if you have a little snapshot of what you eat and how you roll, then obviously you're going to have a lot easier of a time tracking your progress. So look at here. I put zero. This didn't cost me anything. Not that it doesn't cost me anything, but because it's not like an eating out expense. And if you add up the expenses, you add up the calories, you can definitely track your progress a lot easier. So for those of you who are not keeping a little Excel journal like I'm doing, who doesn't love Excel, right? Uh, if you're not in the business world, maybe you don't, but you should, because it's very easy to keep track of stuff like this. But if you're not, you need to be, because you can definitely up your game and keep track of your progress a lot easier than just guessing. And again, I wish I had gone back during my big weight loss phase and I had kept track like this.